Hey, dupe spirit smoker here. Uh, sorry, I haven't made a video in a while. Started my new job. It's been very fun. But as jobs often are, also very time consuming. <laughs> so I haven't been on. Um, Currently, I'm working on a rotating schedule, so each week, it's four on, two off, and so those two days back up on each other every other week, so basically, this week I have Friday and Saturday off, next week I'll have Thursday and Friday off, um, and so it just keeps backing up, so it works out kind of nicely, at least I know when I'm going to be available to do things, but it'll still leave me time to make these videos. which I'm very happy about. Um, today we are smoking some of my own uh, blend that I created through Pipes and Cigars when they were doing the Make Your Own Blend thing before the FDA got their nose stuck and all that. Um, whatever. So I'm smoking some of that. It's a, it's a really delicious blend. I'm Not that I'm biased or anything. I created it. But we're smoking that in my Morgan Pipes uh, Outdoor Bones Pipe, Outdoorsman or Outdoorsman Series Bones Pipe. Really good little pipe, just a simple curve, basically billiard. Um, and it's a nice little pipe, I like it. I would say curved, I mean bent. I don't know why I say curved. But that's very good. Uh, so yeah, so I started my new job Lots of interesting things there already. It's a good place. Um, I am getting along very well with the people that I'm working with so far. It's uh, It's been very hectic, a lot of training involved, but I'm enjoying it very much. Um, and again, like I said, I, I'm getting along with pretty much everybody um, so far, so that's excellent. It, there's a lot more training to go. They still have seven or eight weeks yeah, seven or eight weeks of training to go still. So, a lot, lot to do. But, uh, like I said, it'll leave me some good t some time to do these videos. I'm gonna relight. Um, let's see, what's going on? I don't really have an agenda today. Taking care of a lot of the HR type stuff with work. It's um, 3 o'clock, and my girlfriend and I have already been to our local brewery where they serve a delicious uh, meat and cheese plate. It's cheese, different like three different, four different types of cheese, three different types of crackers, and four different types of meat, um, all sliced up and everything, and it's fantastic. It's a great, great meal. It's actually considered a snack, but it's uh, plenty for the two of us. It was, it's fantastic. So we did that, and I had a Maybach beer while I was there. And she had a beer that she very much enjoys. So that was fun. Um, I want to show you guys something that I got in the mail recently. Pretty cool, I think. I don't think I've ever discussed this before, but one of my bigger passions is uh, well the outdoors in general but bushcraft um, in case you don't know what bushcraft is it's similar to like survival training but it's more like making the wilderness your home or creating uh, things out of the woods you know out of wood and um, branches and vines and leaves and things like that basically to make yourself more comfortable out of doors So I was talking to a, uh, a gentleman on Instagram um, about uh, these knives that he makes down in Colombia. And um, everything is completely handmade. He basically makes them from truck springs and uses all sorts of different materials for, hand, for handles and things like that. And um, 
he sends a bunch of them up every year with uh, a gentleman by the name of Joe Flowers. He's a custom knife designer, custom knife maker, custom knife designer. Funny guy, really good guy. Um, and Joe will bring them back to the United States to save on shipping costs and, and kind of, you know, send them out to people who request one if they know where to go. So he directed me towards Joe and I told Joe, you know, that I would like one of these knives. And when he showed me this knife, I fell in love with it. It's a, uh, it's a semi Puko design knife and I carry it around my neck like this. Um, basically I wouldn't carry this like around every day. I'm basically doing this to show you guys how it is carried when I, when I do use it. But it's on a leather thong, like here. And now this whole thing is made from natural materials. Uh, one caveat to that is that this cordage here is like a nylon sort of braided cord, basically for strength. Uh, however, the strap underneath it, I don't know if that's going to come up, is leather from down there. And the sheath is made from a wood that is very much like fiberglass. It's extremely strong. Very strong. And then the uh, throat here is made from leather with a nice leather thong through it. So you can basically attach it to anything with a carabiner or with string or whatever. And uh, it's very nice. And a little bone bead right here. So this is the knife itself. Again, the design is a Puko design. It's got a Scandinavian grind. Goes all the way. Very nice. Nice hammered finish up on the flats. And brass um, sections here. You can see it gets peened down at the bottom along with a nice hammered finish. It's gorgeous. And this, the handle is all stag. Stag antler. Beautiful stuff. Really, really nice. It, fit, it fits in the hand so incredibly well. So, it's a gorgeous knife, all handmade, everything about it. Yeah, it fits in that sheath beautifully. It doesn't want to come out unless you want it to. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And uh, very much enjoyed getting that recently. And Joe was very helpful. With acquiring it. He also invited me down to Columbia uh, for a few days. In August and September. So I'll have to see if I can get the time off work and afford the cost to get down. I'll have to see. I want to thank you guys on all your support from uh, some of the past videos. Getting a lot of comments on the um, New England Pipe Works video. Eric loved it. Um, hopefully you guys have been over to check out his website and uh, his uh, Facebook page. I really hope so. Also, the one um, about owl pipes. Steve uh, loved that video. I was very happy about it. Hopefully the uh, weather around here will start to get warmer pretty soon and I'll be able to uh, take some videos outside for you guys. Um, spring is always a good time of year to do that. Early spring is because I kind of like that sort of cold. What's out there right now is not cold. That is, uh, that's a whole nother level. <laughs> Once I get to do that, you guys will get to see some of the beautiful areas around where I am. And uh, we'll get to share some time outside. I really enjoy that. And if you guys are interested, let me know. And I'll do some um, uh, bushcraft videos if that interests you at all. So other than that, I'll uh, keep you guys updated on how the job thing is going. Um, leave a response video. Leave a comment. Message me. Whatever you like. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching, and stay smoky.